Now, Luis Suarez has been talking about Darwin Nunez, saying he has potential technical ability and physical power that he is demonstrating. As a teammate, I'm not surprised, because I knew, even when he had a bad time in Liverpool last year, I spoke to him. In Liverpool, they told me to talk to him. I warned him and told him what English football was. I find this quite interesting, Stevie, yeah. that you've got someone who was so brilliant at Liverpool offering advice to Darwin Nunez. Do you know does, what? does it help? You know, he is absolutely the perfect person because I don't know if you remember, but Luis Suarez missed a lot of chances. Early doors. Early doors in his first season. Because early on, the question was is this guy a goal scorer or is he, is he somebody that terrorises defences and, and creates openings for others? Because the questions were was he a finisher? And to begin with, he wasn't. And so, if anybody is the very right man to talk to him, it's Suarez. It helps. But it doesn't hinder him. No? It doesn't make it any worse. I, was, I mean, I was covering uh, Liverpool yeah, back then. Yeah. It was unbelievable to watch sometimes. I mean, I remember sitting with a colleague at the, in the early days, and he said to me, he's not a goal scorer. And I said, well, his numbers from Holland would tell you differently. Now, Holland and England, obviously, it's a... It's a different scenario. It's tougher, certainly tougher in England. And he just seemed to like, hit the post and do other, And then, but what you had to remember as well, when the goals came for Suarez and they came a lot, the rest of his game was incredible as well. Which, you know, I've rarely seen a guy that could wriggle away from two or three players under pressure like he did. Uh, and Stevie's right, he was, just, he was just a monster. Whether Nunes can get to that level, whether he's got enough facets in his game, I mean, he's certainly quick enough and physical enough, but Suarez's ability to bring other people into play and jiggle past two or three players was incredible. But it doesn't do any harm that, that he had a tougher, tough start as well and came through with flying colours, and it's up to Nunes to, to, to rise to that. But I tell you what, if he gets anywhere close to Suarez's level, he's going to have a bloody good career. Frank, did you garner advice? Did anyone help you when you made the move to the Premier League? Or indeed, did you give advice to those coming into the league at Chelsea to help them? Well, um, uh, no, 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 not specifically to, uh, to, to anybody. I remember talking to Olivier Dacour, who played for Everton uh, at some point. Um, and talking to him about the difficulty of the Premier League, but also the fact that if he would be good, you know, he would go with the national team, and, uh, and that's what happened to him. Uh, I think you, you want to give confidence. That's the only thing, because you can't, you can't give anything else. As, as Craig said, it doesn't, it doesn't want anybody to, uh, to, to say some, something. It doesn't harm anybody, it, and it's always good to give as an as a older player, uh, um, and, uh, and somebody who has success, it's always good, especially when you come from the same country, which is the case for, for Nunez and, and, and Suarez, and then you play for the same club. So you just want to you just want to show to the player that you 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 want to take care of him, that you consider right. him, and he gives confidence to the player. That's what it is, and therefore you say, "What wow, Suarez? He comes to talk to me." Therefore, he's the voice of the fans, he's the voice of Liverpool, he represents the past and the success, and he tells me that he believes in me. It gives you s such a boost, I think. Uh, awfully, he didn't tell him to bite people. That's the only thing that I'm concerned yes. about. Yes, yeah, I, th I think that's also very, <laughs> very valid advice going forward. Uh, Liverpool, of course, uh, exceeded expectations so far this season, is that fair? Uh, no, I don't think so. I think, I think if you'd offered Klopp to be a point behind Man City at this stage, initially you would say, OK, we must be, do we must be doing well. But I th I th I'm kind of a little disappointed that Liverpool don't have more points than they do. Wow. So, 